So just recently, October 1st, uh, last month, the Kentucky State Police had arrested James Newman and Gabriel Freeman of Gallatin County. Now, Gallatin County has Warsaw Police, they've got Gallatin County Sheriff's Office, they've got deputies in the Gallatin County Sheriff's Department, and none of them did a fucking thing about this. They, none of them did a thing about this. I saw a picture, I would say there's about, probably about a dozen, at least a dozen, Ser uh, sheriff's deputies, and then, you know, a handful, one or two or three or so Warsaw police officers, you know, so you got 15 motherfuckers who's supposed to be there enforcing the law, and here you got these, this couple, a stepfather and a stepmother, who's not only abusing their children, but they are um, putting cigarette burns out on them. So I'll just read it, WDRB reports. KSP say they've arrested two Gallup County suspects for criminally abusing a four-year-old girl. A four-year-old girl. That's how brave Gallatin Countyans are. Gallatin County, uh, the authorities at least, the elected uh, authorities, won't stand up to James Freeman or Gabriel Freeman. They didn't do a thing about it. It took the Kentucky State Police to do something about it. It took an outsider, instead of the local police community, it took the state police to actually file crimes against James Newman and Gabriel Freeman. According to the arrest warrant, uh, arrest warrants obtained by WDRB News, the crimes took place between September 15th and September 28th. Police say 30-year-old James Newman, the child's stepfather, burned the girl repeatedly on the leg and at least once on the hand with a cigarette. What the fuck? You know, like, hitting people, assault, battery, that by itself is bad enough, but the sadistic shit Taking a fucking cigarette, burning somebody. No matter what a person would do in American society, no matter what they do, rob, rape, murder, at no point will the judge or the jailer take a cigarette and send them and light them. This is a punishment that is only afforded right, to innocent children. Behind closed doors, you don't know what happened. According to the arrest warrants, the child had a similar injury under her nose that she said was caused by her mom, 22-year-old Gabriel Freeman, hitting her. So she's got marks. There was a police officer who had told my friend when she was a child, told her parents, told her mother, look, you're allowed to hit your kid, just don't put any marks on them. So that's the threshold. When you put marks on them, there's evidence and therefore they can do something. So you're allowed to hit your kids, but you ain't, well, fuck that shit. What about, you don't have to hit your kids. Too many people go to violence right from the get-go. Well, you're annoying me. Pow! School personnel were the first ones to notice the injuries. It's about fucking time. John Jones, the school personnel, they didn't give a shit what I was going through. They didn't care for 17 fucking years. In fact, school personnel, John Jones in Galaxy County, very much worked in collusion and collaboration. If you don't get your shit done, I'm going to just tell your fucking parents and you'll get your ass kicked. Perfect. Both oppressors collude together, work together in order to enslave you. And it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, none of this makes any sense if we're supposed to grow up to be women beaters and child beaters, and you're beating us up in the submission, when do we get strong enough to be beating these people up? Or are we supposed to be broken ourselves, and that's why we don't empathize with our own children? Our own children! Can you imagine? Well, maybe you do. Maybe that's the fucking reason. You think of your parents, well, they hit me and I turned out okay. I, I turned out all right. No, you didn't. You cannot empathize with children. You can't empathize with kids. Newman and Freeman were confronted about them. They allegedly denied any involvement. The police say they had noticed the injuries. According to the arrest warrants, they failed to seek out any medical treatment for the burns. They nurse them to apply diaper rash ointment on them. The girl and her siblings were removed from the home and examined by the Children's Hospital. Cincinnati authorities issued warrants for the arrest of Newman and Freeman on September 29th. Both 
were taken into custody the next day and charged with first degree criminal abuse of a child under the age of 12. And they're currently being held in the Carroll County Detention Center. So, while I think it's bullshit, while I think what they did was horrible, I also want to point out the greater society, right? Now they're going to kidnap them, put them in a pen, and they won't get hit, they won't get beat up, but their freedom has been taken away from them. And this, all this is, you know, it's just because they were violent, so violence was used against a violent person, and they're being imprisoned because they had imprisoned uh, other, you know, an innocent person. Just imagine, though, if they weren't guilty. So we've employed imprisonment, we've employed abuse, taken freedom, dignity, humiliation, we've done a lot of shit, and for what? For what? If they're innocent. All we did was abuse an adult, and of course that's totally wrong. Growing up in Gaps County, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people will defend it. I've heard that 80 to 90 percent of Americans are in favor of corporal punishment, some type of violence against their children. Some people can say, well, it's just a little discipline, a little tap on the hand, no big deal. Um, but other people are just, you know, poor, dumb, toothless, backwards, racist, just wants to fucking hit people just because they're poor and powerless and don't know how to understand life, and they get that thrill, they love to hit other people. Makes them feel strong, makes them feel powerful. And so, that's, um, you know, I think that's a big problem because all you have to do to see if things are fair or not is reverse the roles. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. And so, therefore, Spike Wright, John Jones, um, my parents, any other asshole that wants to fucking defend child abuse. If I was to go up to Spike Wright, the county attorney, or a cop, let's say I went up to a cop, it doesn't matter who the example is. It does not matter. I'll say John Jones and Spike and the cops. Everybody. Okay? You. You. you the public. Okay? So if I was to come up to you and just smack you on the head and say, hey, you know, you're doing bad. I don't like the way you have your elbows on the table. So fuck you. Fuck your life. I just smacked you. What you going to do about it now, bitch? That's not a crime. There's nothing wrong with that. I go up to you. I smack you. That ain't a crime. I'm sure if I went up to Spike Wright and smacked him in his mouth and said, hey, don't you back off me, boy. If I said, hey, you need to do this, and he says, well, I don't want to do it. Fucker. Don't back off me, boy. That's wrong. And, you know, you're probably like, oh, I can't believe he's saying this. This must be a crime, though it's a hypothetical. I'm just talking about it, and already you're looking for a reason to hurt me again. Because that's the point. When you point out that these people are narcissistic, abusive assholes, they'll go after you for a character assassination. Uh-oh, they know who we really are. He knows who we really are. So I think it's pretty simple. You know, one of the good things about our American society is that child molestation is very much, you know, not just frowned upon, it's criminal. People lose their freedom and, you know, um, get jailed, have to get on the sex offender, street, uh, sex offender registry. That's a good thing. It's one of the few things that we can actually say that we're better than other cultures, like, you know, Islam. But to say that child molestation is wrong, but child abuse is right? What the fuck? Like, that just it blows my mind. That absolutely, I think a person who abuses a child, a person who doesn't mind smacking a kid, putting cigarettes out on them, on their legs, arms, whatever, like these two Galpy County people did. They don't give a shit about that person's life, their dignity, their mind, anything. They didn't give a fuck about that four-year-old girl. They did not care about her. And to be, you know, surprised, perhaps there was something sexual in this. Would that be a surprise? Would that be a shocker? The four-year-old girl's trapped in their, you know, in this house. Nobody cares. Nobody's standing up for her. Would that be a surprise if later on they found out that these two people who were, you know, caught by the state police but not by the locals, that they also molested their kids? I don't think it's a surprise. I think it's very 
easy to understand. It's behind closed doors. They're abusing it. And, you know, if this is what we know. Could there be other, you know, more things that had happened? And I, I think that that's an easy answer. The oppressor is one order away from being a molester. So shut up, do this, do that, here's a cigarette, you know. They, they put cigarette burns on her leg, on her leg. With Sandy Overly, all they did, you know, one of the guys, the congressman or whatever, spanked her leg. And I don't know what spank your leg even means. Was it Josh and all, oh, you know, don't do that. Or was it, um, you know, hey, I told you not to do that, you know, and hit, hit the leg actually with physical force. But just hitting someone's knee, right? That was standing over me. Hey, I don't know if it was flirty or if it was shut your mouth. Either way, she said, if you do that again, I'll kick your ass. And she, that's rightfully so. Malcolm X says, you lay a hand on me, I send you to the cemetery. That's how you, that's what a real man does. A real man doesn't let freedom come to them. A real man gets freedom, grabs freedom, takes freedom. And if a man ever lays their hands on you, you send them to the cemetery. That's Malcolm X. And so, Sandy Overly did right. But she's a grown woman, a congresswoman, so she evidently she can, you know, have people in power, so she's okay. But not only does she have all the protections, but she's able to defend herself. And I think that's the direction that we need to go when it comes to child abuse, when it comes to bullies, you know, the teachers, the parents are, you know, allowing the children to get beat up and smacked around and shit, and then when they're getting bullied, nobody gives a shit. So, you know, you get bullied by the other students, you're getting bullied by the parents, getting bullied by the teachers. And then 18, go fly. Fly out of the nest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all been beating me up and, you know, teaching me how to take bullshit and how to be oppressed. Now I'm supposed to be independent, autonomous? Bullshit. You didn't give a fuck about me. That's why you were fucking hitting me. And then at 18, you didn't want to fucking have to deal with being, you know, the, me having legal adult ramifications. And so you said, get out, not to fly out, not to succeed, but here's the exact words of the oppressor. So you would come crawling back to me. So you would come crawling back. So you would say, God, society is so hard and difficult. Please, sir, please, can I come back to getting abused and oppressed? I love violence. If Spike Wright was getting smacked in the face, if I threw Kool-Aid in, Spike Wright's face, if I was taking cigarette burns and putting it, in, uh, putting it out on Spike Wright, or his shitty wife, <laughs> who is not only a bitch, she's an asshole. She is an asshole. Now, I can't think of one nice word that that piece of shit has ever said to me. I can't think of one nice word. But I guarantee you, if that was happening to her or to him, they would put a stop to it. They would say it's bullshit. Either they would do it themselves, and if they couldn't do it themselves, they would have somebody, uh, a police officer or one of their friends or something, prosecutor to file charges. They would get something done. If the shit that they allow in their own county was done to them, they wouldn't tolerate it if it was them. But for some reason, four-year-old girl, Let's tolerate this. Let's look the other way. That's Galaxy County. This is October, the, you know, 2015, the 1st, October 1st, 2015. I grew up 0 to 17, graduated at 2000, so I've been out free. So I've been, um, you know, it's not, that, um, it's not that I'm complaining about child abuse, which I think it is bullshit, but the child abuse still persists till today. And then at no point in my life did they ever protect and serve me and defend me, just like this four-year-old girl to the Kentucky State Police to fight and defend her. So, you want to point out why, you know, there's police brutality, why there's war, why there's homelessness, poverty, patriot, all this shit, all this tolerance, we just keep tolerating it and tolerating it and tolerating it. We were trained to tolerate it. Look at that girl in South Carolina. This is the that thing, but that girl in South Carolina. 
She's getting her ass kicked by that cop. And for what? She pulled out her phone for a second? That's the worst fucking crime in the world. We gotta get cops into the schools. So when she pulls out a phone, she get her ass kicked. And you saw all those students, they were, some of them were recording, and good for them for recording. Good for them for having phones. Because if they didn't have phones, then this motherfucker would have got away with it. But reverse the rules. Let's say that police officer pulled out his phone, and you said, put that phone away, you're not allowed to have it. And he says, um, okay, and he puts it away real fast, and I wasn't happy with it. Now get out. No, just get out. I'm so pissed off that you would even do that. Get out. And he's like, oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm you know, I just want to check my messages. I won't do it again. It's, you know, I'm having, you know, I'm, she's homeless, foster care. She was having, like, personal issues. And she checked her fucking phone. That was a crime. And so that police officer in South Carolina, that uh, Ben Fields, if Ben Fields pulled out his phone and I yelled at him to put it away, and then when he did, and I was still pissed off, and I told him to leave, and he didn't want to leave, and then I kicked his ass, that ain't right. That's not moral, it's not just, it's not equal, it's not fair, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. They want compliance, capitulation, shut the fuck up, do what I tell you. And it's the only thing they understand. You know, just like capitalism and socialism, we've never talked about socialism. Just like Hobbes versus Rousseau, we've never talked about Rousseau. Americans have not talked about John Jacques Rousseau, which talked about liberating children. So they got to know who they are, know what they wanted, and as long as they hurt nobody else, they were okay. Just like socialism, we haven't talked about Jean-Jacques Rousseau. We assume people are evil and you got to beat them into submission in order to make them good. And you start that beating from the time that they're a child. And it's bullshit. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. In fact, because that police officer did hit that kid, somebody would have kicked that police officer's ass. They would have been just and moral for doing so. But society, they would have got prosecuted. They would have been, had a warrant, gone to jail, and then spent jail for doing what the fuck was right. Just like that other pool party. When that black dude was standing over that cop acting like he was going to do something, and then the cop pulled out his gun, and then the guy takes off running. Evidently, being a human being, seeing someone else suffering and thinking, man, I need to do something about it, is a crime in this country, and that's bullshit. We need to change. We need to be good. So, come on, America. Let's get better. Peace out.